This drug is one of the animal in greatest deep acting, long acting remedy. It has got action on every body parts. I don't know where to start and where to end. It has got action on the eyes, it has got action on the nose, full body it has got action. But it is an anti-tubercular remedy. This is not tuboenum. The person is so attractive that everyone can recognize this person very easily. Person is so handsome. Person is a fair. Person has got a blue eyes. Person, uh, girl is a very beautiful looking girl. And this is not Silesia. This is not Kelkereka. Person who grows too tall, they are rapidly growing with a stooped shoulder. This is not Kelkereka. This is not Sulphur. The person is highly chilly. He always wants to be covered. At the same time, they want icy cold drinks. They want juicy refreshing things. They want ice cubes. This is not phosphoric acid. This is not Silesia. The person wants to be magnetized. He wants some or the other kind of attention. This is not Kelkereka. At the same time, he cannot see other suffering. The person is highly sympathy for other suffering. This is not causticum. The person who has got severe burning, there's a burning in the palms, burning in the soles, who wa wants to be uncovered. This is not arsenical. This is not medorinum. The person has got severe bleeding tendency, a small wound which bleeds profusely. A teeth is been extracted. There's a non-stop profuse bleeding. With the bleeding is a bright red in color. This is not hippocat. There's a bleeding from the nose. This is not bryonia. The person is more of diarrhea than constipated. The diarrhea has got small sago like particles. So this is in short introduction about this drug. This is a drug from the periodic table of elements, non-metallic element. It is from the nitrogen family. This drug is called phosphorus. Phosphorus. As you can see in the image, you can see full of uh, sand and one bud of plant is emerging. Just like how it grows fast when there is a phosphorus is present in the sand. Uh, similarly, uh, this drug is so vibrant. This person is so active. And this is one of the Hanumanian greatest polycrest remedy. It has got so many symptoms. I don't know whether I'll be doing justice to the phosphorus. So I have decided this video into part 1 and part 2. Part 1 is mainly dealing with the history of phosphorus and some of the key indication of phosphorus. And part 2, uh, we will see about the phosphorus evolution of phosphorus personality. Phosphorus is a non-metallic chemical element with the symbol P of the nitrogen family. In the periodic table that is called nitrogen family that is there around the group 15 of periodic table. Nitrogen family includes nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony and bismuth. Phosphorus at room temperature is colorless, semi-transparent, it is very soft and waxy, it looks like a butter. Phosphorus glows in the dark and the atomic number is 15. Element phosphorus exists in mainly two major forms that is a white phosphorus and red phosphorus. But because it is highly reactive, phosphorus is never found free element in the earth. It is always found combined with other elements. There are violet variety of phosphorus and black variety of phosphorus also seen. Phosphorus is it highly oxidizes and that's why it has been stored in the water and some books describe that it has been stored in the kerosene also. Element phosphorus was first isolated from the human urine. The history is very interesting. That has been identified first time from the urine and bone ash that is the earlier sources of phosphorus. You can see a periodic table of element where we can locate phosphorus. So phosphorus is found in the nitrogen group of element that is starting with nitrogen, then comes phosphorus, then comes arsenic, then comes antimony and comes bismuth. So generally in the periodic table of elements, you have got something called rows and something called columns. So there are seven rows 
called periods there are 18 columns which are called groups now our phosphorus comes in the uh, column of 15th column okay so generally in the periodic table of elements the metals are arranged mostly on the left hand side of the periodic table and non metallic elements are found on the right hand side of the periodic table of elements and this arrangement is mainly based on the atomic number and electron configurations the details of that i'm not going so that will be again a big topic so generally you can see a phosphorus uh, where the atomic number is 15 so this is in short where you can see a phosphorus so the nitrogen family so the nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony and bismuth they have got something very common so you have phosphorus arsenic nitrogen all are burning all those remedies prepared from this group of element has got respiratory symptoms phosphorus is a wonderful remedy for the various uh, respiratory complaints maybe of pneumonia maybe of tuberculosis arsenic alb we know very well the arsenic group of element uh, excellent remedy for the respiratory complaints antimony is again excellent remedy for the uh, respiratory complaint and they got action on the gastrointestinal tract also all those drugs maybe of uh, nitrogen maybe of phosphorus maybe of arsenic maybe of antimony and bismuth so there are something very common running in this group of element here you can see uh, everything about a nutshell about phosphorus about the chemical property phosphorus the atomic number is 15 the symbol is p and atomic weight or atomic mass is 30.974 it is discovered in the year 1669 and it has been discovered by Henning Brandt the discovery is very interesting about how he discovered the brand allowed 50 buckets of urine to stand until they get putrefied and worms started breeding on it so what he has done is around 50 buckets of urine he collected and allowed to stand it till it get putrefied till there is a worms formed on the urine he then boiled the urine down to a paste and heated with a sand so he just boiled the urine and made it into a paste and heated with a sand thereby distilling the elemental phosphorus from the mixture there he found something is glowing that is the brand's discovery of phosphorus phosphorus is also called as an a devil's element because it has a tendency to burst into flames the phosphorus uh, smells like a garlic it has atomic number 15 therefore it has a 15 protons in the nucleus of one atom and this is about the phosphorus and the discovery and it is found in the p block of periodic table of element In this slide, you can see the main four types of phosphorus. The first one is the white phosphorus. Then you've got a red phosphorus, which has been used in the matchboxes or matchsticks. The third one is the allotropes of phosphorus, that is a violet phosphorus and the black phosphorus. You can also see a, a video attached to the this slide, how the phosphorus catches fire. It highly oxidizes. It is a diffusive. It catches fire very fast. That is the reason it has been stored in a water. And that is the main reason phosphorus has been used in the fire industries. It has been used in preparing the bombs or crackers. It has been used in the pesticides for the same reason. We'll see some more uh, physical and chemical properties of phosphorus white phosphorus emits a faint glow when exposed to oxygen and hence the name it has been given as the light bringer or light bearer or light carrier is taken from the greek mythology something which gives out light in the latin lucifer which refers to the morning star the planet Venus which illuminates which gives a light 
that is the reason it is called a light bringer or light carrier or light bearer because of the property it glows in the dark a uh, similarly how the planet venus which is so bright similarly this element receive the name because of that the glow of phosphorus is caused by oxidation of the white but not the red phosphorus it is found in the periodic table of element we already said it is found in the along with nitrogen arsenic antimony and bismuth and that is the reason phosphorus is classified as a pinktogen phosphorus is a very essential for human life it is also uh, essential for the plants it is essential for our growth it is essential for maintenance and repair of cells and essential for tissues it required for dna rna and atp and phospholipids and other synthesis of energy production to the our cells other than human needs phosphorus also used in the pesticide industries it has been used for the organophosphorus compounds it has been used in detergents it has been used in the fertilizer industries it has been used in the metallurgy industries for steel and bronze preparations it has been used in the matchbox industries it has also been used to soften the water it has also been used in the soft drinks fire industry this is overall uses of phosphorus in the human body and also in the other industries how the phosphorus is used we saw about the history of phosphorus we saw about the discovery of phosphorus we saw about the physical properties we saw about the chemical properties we also saw about the phosphorus in relation to the periodic table of elements we saw about the requirement of phosphorus in our body and we also saw about the various uses of phosphorus now we'll come back to the homeopathic point of view about the phosphorus the phosphorus is a drug it has been proved by dr samuel hanneman here the mainly the red phosphorus it has been used it is dissolved in alcohol and from that the dilutions and higher proteins are prepared as for the homeopathic pharmacopoeia thermally phosphorus is a chilly patient miasmatically predominantly and tubercular remedy but it has got psoriatic expression it has got psychotic feature it has also has got syphilitic feature the main sphere of action of phosphorus it has got main action on the brain it has got action on the nerves spine and spinal cord it has got action on the blood blood vessels circulations it has got action on the heart lungs it has got action on the sexual organs git bones has got special action on the jaw what happens when somebody consumes phosphorus in a large quantity it will start irritating to the skin and mucous membrane it will start inflaming the mucous membranes it also causes degeneration of the mucous membranes it irritates and inflames the serous membranes it will the same pathology irritates and inflames the spinal cord nervous system causing gradual paralysis it will destroy the bone especially about the lower jaw and tibia it dis disorganizes the blood causing hemorrhages it disorganizes and degeneration of the blood vessels leading to hemorrhagic tendencies it will produce as, as a result of that it will cause as a hemorrhagic leading to or prolonged hemorrhages leading to a jaundice and it destroys the liver it destroys the sexual organs that is all in the poisonous large quantity perceiving the phosphorus personality he is the crowd puller the person is so attractive so called handsome so called beautiful ladies they are the people who are very tall they walk with stooped shoulder 
they got very attractive hair they got very attractive eyes they are the center of the crowd everyone likes this person everyone likes this girl they got such a pleasant look they are the people who get convinced very easily they are the people who can convince others very easily suppose a prosperous person enters your clinic very often they have a gesture good morning doctor good evening doctor fine doctor thank you doctor so they are the people who are well behaved persons well decent behaved person they are the people who are very anxious they'll sit at the tip of the chair they'll the one who always explains very nicely everyone likes this person who are very tall person a sanguine temperament is a fair skin he has got very delicate eyelashes more of blonde or red haired person they got a narrow chest they have a history of tuberculosis the people who get perceived very fast people who are very restless very sensitive young people who grow too rapidly who are most of the time anemic very often prosperous person end up in having in diarrhea they are the people who are highly sympathetic they cannot see other suffering they are the people who wants to be magnetized they want others to appreciate them he is a person who is very sensitive to the external impression sensitive to light noise odors touch person who is most of the time they are prone to go for jaundice they are the people who get affected by the thunderstorms so such individuals are most of the time prosperous a child is so attractive a child moves freely to one person to another person they are the people who are diffusive they are not at all an introvert they are the people extrovert people opposite of natromure this is in short about the adaptability of prosperous this is one of my favorite drugs lots of lots of symptoms are there i don't know where to start i don't know where to end every symptom is very important because you cannot just ignore the symptoms of prosperous this is one of the hanimanian greatest polycrest remedy and this is one of the greatest constitutional remedy it has got lots of symptoms and every every organ in our body prosperous has got a action so let us see some of the key indication of phosphorus the first indication is the burning this is one of the nash trios of burner arsenic alb sulfur and phosphorus here burning all over the body but predominant burnings along the spine maybe burning you can see in the palms burning in the soles burning in the stomach burning in the eyes burning in the face burning in the anus so everywhere burning burning between the scapula there is not only burning but along with the burning there is a heat is generated person wants to uncover the feet because he cannot tolerate the heat person doesn't want to cover himself even the person is chilly but his feet will be uncovered he cannot bear the burning is there it's so heat and burning the burning of the palms we have got many drugs sulfur is there lachesis is there burning in the lungs every tissue of the body is burning that is the first keynote indication of phosphorus second indication about the phosphorus is a, one of the greatest hemorrhagic tendency remedies there are many drugs are there for hemorrhagic tendency in our homeopathy metro medica but phosphorus is one of the leading remedy where the hemorrhage is bright red in color a smallest wound bleeds profusely from every mucus outlet in our body there is a bleeding bleeding is very profuse and bleeding is very frequent the bleeding is pouring out freely ceasing for a time being and again started bleeding so you can think of in conditions like menorrhagia metrorrhagia or dub 
और हिमोप्टाइसिस हेमेटमिसिस हेमेचूरिया और विकेरियस ब्लीडिंग्स लाइक ब्रायोनिया डिजिटलिस से एवरीवेयर दे से ब्लीडिंग प्रोफ्यूस ब्लीडिंग आई हैव फाउंड एक्सेलेंट रिजल्ट इन प्रैक्टिस बाय पॉस्परस ग्रीविंग द इन द कंडीशंस ऑफ मेनरेजिया मेट्रोरेजिया ड्यूबी वन डोज ऑफ पॉस्परस इज इनफ इमीडिएटली देयर इज अ ब्लीडिंग स्टॉप्स दे से एपिक्सटैक्सिस इंस्टेड ऑफ मेंसेस this person's handkerchief is full of blood stain i have seen many patients they just open the handkerchief you see full of blood stains are there that is enough that is a point for your prescription of phosphorus it may be a bleeding from the polyp it may be bleeding from the teeth there is a persistent bleeding after tooth extractions like our arnica in short remember phosphorus in your practice for hemorrhagic tendency there is a bright red bleedings we have got millefolium you got epicac a bright red bleeding at the same time you got a dark red bleeding remedies like lachesis like crotalus china carbovage all are the remedies are darker side of bleeding but this is a remedy of bright red bleeding there is a empty algon sensation in the every body parts they say person feels emptiness in the head person feels emptiness in the chest person feels emptiness in the stomach like sulfur they say empty algon feeling in the entire abdomen which is amelioration by eating like chlorodonium murex sepia stena metallicum everywhere the person feels empty algon sensation and it is relieved by eating you have got a remedy staphysagria you got sepia all this drug has got empty algon sensation phosphorus is an excellent remedy for in the management of dandruff it is excellent remedy in the management of hair falls there are many of the homeopaths might have earned so much by giving phosphorus in the management of alopecia dandruff falls out in clouds like lycopodium you got many drugs for dandruff like badiaga jaborandi natrumure here the hair falls out in bunches there's a baldness in spots we have got many drugs for hair falls like staphysagria like fluoric acid like sepia but phosphorus is an excellent remedy where the hair fall in a bunches and there's a alopecia areata sionanthus american is also an excellent remedy for the hair fall it has been used as an external application on the bald spots another indication of phosphorus there is a bag like swelling of the eyelids both the upper eyelid and lower eyelids are puffed it is swollen like edematous you have got many drugs for bag like swelling of the eyelids for the upper eyelid you have got a calicub lower eyelid you have got epis mellifica but in phosphorus both the upper eyelid and lower eyelids are swollen it may be due to some renal pathology it may be due to a cardiac pathology we need to investigate but the eyes looks puffed off the eyes looks swollen phosphorus has got craving for icy cold things it craves for juices craves for ice creams craves for refreshing things always wants to be icy cold to drink hot water he cannot tolerate the moment ice water reaches his stomach it get warm stuff and it's thrown off as long as it remains cold he'll be fine the moment the whatever the water he drank whatever the juice he drank which goes inside inside the stomach and become warm there is a tendency for vomiting like arsenical like bismuth so it is indicated in case of post operative vomitings you can think of in malignancies you can think of achalasia cardia all this clinical conditions where there is vomiting as soon as water becomes warm in the stomach otherwise a phosphorus personality has got a craving for ice cubes craving for ice creams craving for juicy things craves for refreshing things but everything wants to be ice just opposite of this person always wants warmth he cannot tolerate cold he wants hot water he want hot jalebi he want hot sweets that is lycopodium here the person want cold icy cold that is a phosphorus it's also important remedy for the people who get nausea 
by placing the hand in a warm water or person who gets sneezing and cold by putting the hand in a cold water so there are two things the moment the person goes to the washroom and he dips his finger or hand in a water and he'll start getting sneezing or he'll start getting coryza at the same time he puts hand in a warm water he start getting nausea so this is a two distinct phenomena person is highly sensitive to the hot and cold cold water touching causes sneezing and coryza hot water touching causes nausea it has been described that many of the books phosphorus is more of diarrhea than constipated diarrhea person feels as though something enters the rectum there's a profuse pouring like a hydrant as a profuse diarrhea it's a gushing out diarrhea like our gambogia like our jatropha like our podophyllum like our tuja stool also contains a sago like particles there is a floating of sago like particles in the stool there is also sensation as if a anus remain wide open there is no constriction of the anus person feels that the anus is totally opened out everything is gushing out so profusely like our epis mellifica stool also involuntary it's also remedy for the people at the time of menses they getting diarrhea and vomiting like our ammonium carb as we know phosphorus is best indicated when the person is having diarrhea but phosphorus is also a important remedy for the people who are constipated it has been typically described and it is a typical key indication dog like stool the feces are slender long dry tough and hard voided with great straining and difficulty like causticum like staphysigria long narrow hard stool it has been typically described the stool like a dog dog stool and which is very difficult to expel so we have got many drugs for constipation like opium where typically is described as a sheep dung stool chelidonium is another remedy where there's a sheep dung stool we have got magnesium murate where the stool comes at the verge of the anus and recedes backwards like silesia again a shy stool so here the stool is a typically described as a hard like a dog stool it's like a burnt stool it's also a remedy for the females during the time of pregnancy they are unable to drink water the sight of water causes nausea they have to close the eye while taking bath the moment they open the eyes and they see the visualize the water they will get severe nausea so it is very difficult for them to take bath so they have to close their eyes and take bath there is a uh, you can say it is not exactly a hydrophobia like lysinum there is a fear of water but the looking at the water causes nausea in phosphorus another indication of phosphorus in relation to the respiratory complaints it is a excellent remedy for the people who get cough from going from warm to cold air a reverse of bryonia bryonia get a cough from going to the cold to warmth here the cough gets from the warm place to going to the cold place from warm to cold air causes cough cough is again increased by laughing talking reading drinking eating and also cough is aggravation by lying on the left side like our drosera and stanum it is a excellent remedy for the cough maybe of uh, tuberculosis origin a cough maybe of uh, pneumonic origin a cough maybe of allergic origin whatever the pathology but cough from warm to cold air and cough also with a bloody sputum another indication of phosphorus in relation to the sweat a sweat has a odor of sulfur very bad smelling sweat we got many drugs for the various uh, complaints of sweat in relations where sweat smells like a honey you get it in tuja you get it in a, a graphitis a sweat is been attracted by the flies we got many drugs rustox has got that indication 
you got caladium there is a great weakness and prostration which is another key indication of phosphorus for the weakness and prostration you got many drugs calicarb arsenical phosphoric acid etc here the weakness mainly of nervous origin there is a nervous debility there is a nervous trembling of the whole body there may be weakness after a diarrhea weakness after loss of vital fluids like cinchona phosphoric acid so this is the indication but do you have other constitution features to match whether to give a cinchona whether to give a phosphoric acid whether to give a carbovage whether to give a arsenic or we can differentiate based on the other associated features but here in phosphorus there is a marked weakness and prostration after a, some nervous diseases deep seated nervous diseases maybe after loss of vital fluids another indication i have seen this is a, one of the unique feature of phosphorus i have seen some of my colleagues there is a complaints from excessive use of salts person who craves salt and they get a complaint from the salt we need to differentiate natromure bad effect of iodine that is also another key indication so bad effect of iodine and excess use of salt leading to person become emaciated person becomes a weakness after too much salt consumption another indication of phosphorus and the key indication is very peculiar mind they are most of the time the phosphorus individuals are clairvoyant they can predict that something is going to happen they can predict whatever going to happen very early we have a drugs like anacardium cannabis lacasis lysine silicia stromonium tarantula they are the people something bad going to happen to their parents something bad going to happen to their friends they can feel that that something bad is going to happen they can predict it is because of that they get frightened very easily they are the people who get startled very easily to the slightest noise a slight a slightest vibration they get frightened they are the people who are highly sensitive they are the people who get startled very easily the child get frightened very easily the child get startled very easily to the close of door or the something hard sound causes startling or causes palpitation phosphorus is also indicated for hearing difficulty especially hearing difficulty for the human voice whoever speaks to him the sound gets reechoed like our acousticum here the difficulty in hearing may be of neurological reason or may be of traumatic reason when the constitution features are matching a uh, phosphorus is an excellent remedy it is indicated for all degenerative condition may be of blindness deafness wonderful results have been i found in my practice it's also indicated for pneumonia especially uh, pneumonia in children uh, pneumonia after an acute viral diseases pneumonia may be after any bacterial diseases especially in the left side of the lung is involved left lobar pneumonia or red hepatization stage of pneumonia where the person will have a rusty bloody sputum or brick dust expectorations uh especially it has got all the common symptoms of pneumonia but peculiar modality is worse by lying on the left side whole body feels trembles with coughing sputum is rusty and blood colored sputum sometimes purulent sputum or cough by dipping the hand in cold water it's an excellent remedy for the tuberculosis again tuberculosis about the left lung apex of the lung is involved uh, tuberculosis in a tall rapidly growing young people who have got a narrow chest it should not be given too low or uh, phosphorus should not be given too frequently it may produce euthanasia tuberculosis with all the common symptoms night sweats repeated hemoptysis there's a pain in the throat pain in the chest slightest sound slightest odors which provokes the cough and aggravation lying on the left side
Phosphorus is also an important remedy for the people who have complete loss of voice. Ephonia. It's also indicated hoarseness of voice. Ephonia from singing. We have drugs like aurum trifilum, argentum nitricum, causticum, selenium. Here the hoarseness of voice, especially towards the evening time, like carbovage. We have a remedy called ephonia in the early morning, that is a causticum. Coca is an excellent remedy for the loss of voice. You can give a tinge of foam. Phosphorus indicated especially hoarseness of voice towards the evening or ephonia from singing with the constitutional feature of phosphorus. You can match, you can prescribe, you get a wonderful result. It's also phosphorus also indicated for the complaints appears diagonally. That is the upper right side and the lower limb left sided. We have other drugs which we know that is a ambragrisia, bromium, medorinum, sulfuric acid. All these drugs has got a complaints appear diagonal. That is upper right and lower left. Opposite of that you can see in ladum. Another key indication of phosphorus, there are so many key indications you may get bored but all these points are uh, markers, uh, they will help you to prescribe phosphorus. The person wants to be magnetized. He wants others should give him attention. He should be the center of action. He need not crave, otherwise also the person's behaviors, these characters, is such a way that all the people likes him. Decides to be magnetized, which relieves his complaints. Whenever the people are not giving him attention, he feel bad and his complaints are aggravated. We have a remedy, decides to be magnetized, or calcarea carb, Lachesis, Natrum Carb, Silesia, these are the drugs. Calcarea Carb wants to be magnetized at the same time, uh, Calcarea Carb is very worried. He doesn't want others to observe him. At the same time, the Calcarea Carb wants to be magnetized. Another key indication of phosphorus is that people are very anxious, people who are very fearful. Especially they get affected by thunderstorms. Before and during the thunderstorms they have problems. They get palpitation, they get tremors, they get nervousness, they get a fear. And all the complaints are aggravation during the thunderstorms. Maybe of cold, maybe of cough, maybe of headache, maybe of gastric complaints, maybe of diarrhea. These are aggravated by before and during thunderstorms. We have got many drugs, thunderstorms, elements from uh, remedies like rhododendron like sepia, natromure, natrum carb, gelsimum, all these drugs has got a thunderstorm elements from. We said phosphorus person is more of diffusive. They are the people who are outgoing personality. They are the people who are more, more of extrovert. But there are some stages of phosphorus. We have these symptoms. They are the apathetic and indifference to the people. They are the indifference to the surroundings. Indifference to the families. The person who is unwilling to answer. Or the person who asks anything, he answers slowly and he moves sluggishly. This, that is not the basic quality of phosphorus. But as the pathology advances, as the disease stage progresses, person will have a indifferent attitude person may have, may not be willing to answer your questions that is not the uh, real character of phosphorus but over a period of pathology over the disease progresses there are some mental states which you see in phosphorus that is a uh, indifferent we have got indifference many drugs remedies like fluoric acid remedies like sepia remedies like lycopodium remedies like phosphoric acid all these drugs has got a different different reason for their indifference Phosphorus is also a neglected remedy for liver diseases. For the liver disease means we think of chilidonium, we will think of lycopodium, we think of cardus marinus, but very rarely we will think of phosphorus. It is indicated for various liver diseases, maybe of fatty liver, maybe of cirrhotic liver, maybe of malignant jaundice, maybe of liver abscess, with the constitution features of Phosphorus like chilly patient, person who get frightened easily, person who gets to be magnetized. All such symptoms are matching with the liver pathology. Phosphorus is a remedy. We have to compare other liver remedies for malignant jaundice like Crotalus oridus, Lachesis, Mercurius also covers 
for jaundice of malignant nature. We said phosphorus has got craving for cold drinks. At the same time, phosphorus also craves fish, craves for cold milk, craves for ice cream, and craves for highly seasoned food, craves for juicy things, craves for refreshing things. Phosphorus is also a remedy for blindness. I had two, three cases of blind blindness where phosphorus had given excellent result in few months. It is indicated for blindness because of degeneration of the optic nerves. It's also indicated for cataract. It's also indicated for short sightedness. You will not believe when you give phosphorus in highest potency, you get a wonderful result in blindness, in short sightedness. I had lots of cases. Another key indication of phosphorus, we said phosphorus person is a well behaved, decent person. At the same time, just like we said, phosphorus is a person will have a some or other part of life they have got indifferent behavior. Similarly, similarly, a phosphorus also has got a lascivious behaviors. He strips himself. He'll have a sexual mania. He'll have irresistible desires to coitions. You need to compare cantharis and stromonium or the other drugs. Like that, keynote symptoms are many. I think this is enough. So much keynote symptoms we have said. We'll see some of the etiology or some of the causative factors for phosphorus complaints to develop. So element from exposure to cold, element from too much consuming table salt, element from thunderstorms, element from anger, element from fear, element from fright, element from grief, element from strong emotions, element from strong orders, element from strong smell, the flower of the smell leading to fainting, element from lightning leading to blindness, element from sexual excess, element from loss of vital fluids, you need to compare carbovage, you need to compare synchona, element from sprains, element from liftings like arnica, ruta, rustox, element from drenching rains like our rustox, element from too much of tobacco, element from having a haircut, element from washing clothes, element from tuberculosis, element from pneumonia. So, so many elements which are the reason for phosphorus to have various complaints. In this slide, you can see a gist of phosphorus or summary of the phosphorus. So we know that phosphorus is a deep acting, long acting antitubercular drug. It has got main action on the brain, spine, circulation, blood, heart, lungs, sexual organs, stomach, intestines, bones, skin and hair. On the pathology part of phosphorus, there is more of degenerations. Uh, like a deafness or blindness or aphonia. So such pathological expressions you can see in the phosphorus. A deafness to the human voice or blindness because of atrophy of the optic nerve. On the blood vessels, on the blood there is totally a hemorrhagic tendency. The hemorrhages are bright red in color, maybe in the form of epistaxis maybe of dysfunctional uterine bleeding, maybe of menorrhagia, metrorrhagia, maybe of hemoptysis, maybe of hematuria, maybe of hematemesis. Everything is a profuse, non-stop, bright red bleeding. Next you can see there is a burning. So there is a burning everywhere, just like a Dr. Numa's signature of phosphorus, it burns. So maybe burning in the spine, maybe burning in spots, Maybe burning in the extremities, maybe burning in the stomach, eye. Whichever the body parts, there is a total burning. Next, you can see in the phosphorus, there is inflammatory pathology. Maybe a pneumonia, 
may be a tuberculosis may be a appendicitis whatever may be the organ is affected may be a hepatitis so there are inflammatory pathologies or phosphorus is an excellent remedy so burning inflammation there is also a tendency for edema like bag like swelling under the both the eyelids edema may be because of a renal pathology edema may be because of cardiovascular pathology you can think of phosphorus is a remedy as a person the more of extrovert the more of sensitive it like you can see an arrow where the person has got a magnetized desires to be the person is more of sympathy for others suffering because he is highly sensitive the person who is very clairvoyant the person is very sensitive to the storms thunderstorms lightning slightest change of weather they are highly sensitive sensitive to the noise there is a marked weakness or marked prostrations maybe weakness in the spine there may be weakness in the sexual organs maybe there is a weakness in the eyes thermally uh, phosphorus is a chilly patient and miasmatically predominantly tubercular miasmatic remedy on the left hand side you can see mainly adapted to the persons who are tall stooped shoulders handsome anemic the person who get frightened very easily the person who is highly sensitive such individuals are the phosphorus disposition they are the people who are more of anxious the people who are more of fearful individual they are the people more prone for diarrhea diarrhea is profuse like a hydrant comes out with the sago like particles on the hair or on the scalp it is a remedy for alopecia maybe hair falls in bunches or hair falls in spots excellent remedy for dandruff some more uh, constitutional feature at the person has got marked craving for ice cream so craving for cold drinks craving for salt person always uses table salt extra and he'll have a problem craves for fish the perspiration as uh, order of sulfur so this is in short a nutshell about the phosphorus